So guys, what is going on? I hope you guys are well. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe. Uh, guys, I've just seen an interview with Ed Eddie Hearn and he has spilled the beans on Kel Brook. Um, it was a fiery interview from Eddie Hearn. He seemed quite upset. Uh, and I can understand why he was upset. And a lot of answers were, a lot of questions were answered. Now, Eddie Hearn says that Kel Brook turned his back on me for this Crawford fight. Kel Brook decided to go alone for this Crawford fight. He didn't even talk to me. Um, and then when they couldn't get a UK broadcaster, Ed, um, Kel Brook came running back uh, and his dad rang Eddie Hearn. And now we don't know, this is what Eddie Hearn's side of the story is, uh, but it does sound, to be fair, it didn't, seem, it didn't seem like he seemed quite animated and quite passionate and seemed quite upset. Uh, because of the journey that he's had with Kel Brook and what he's done for Kel Brook. Um, and Eddie Hearn seemed quite, he seemed quite upset, if I'm honest with you. Um, and he fired back, he basically said, listen, um, Kel Brook wanted to do this without me. He didn't want me there, he didn't want me involved. And then when the UK broadcaster, we couldn't find a UK broadcaster, he his dad rang me. Asking if, if Sky Sky have to do it because you've been loyal, we've been loyal to you, you've been loyal to us. And Eddie Earn said, why do us Sky have to take it? You decided to go do your own thing. I have to take care of my own fighters. And Eddie Earn said, basically, if you basically betray me, then I'm not going to give 100% for you. And that's basically what's happened here. Um, maybe if they had Hearn involved, because maybe they didn't want to pay Eddie Hearn. You know, Kel... <laughs> A lot of you were critical of Kel Brook. I remember some of you were saying Kel Brook's going to get battered in this fight because he's doing it for money. Well, now we know what, what, what the score is. We now know that what Eddie Hearn is saying, because now what, what you got to remember, this isn't just Eddie Hearn. This is Dominic Ingle. Now, Dominic Ingle has said that uh, he said that it was because of travel restrictions. But Eddie Hearn in the interview said they didn't want to pay Dominic Ingle. So for me, this seems that they're trying to save money because I, I think they didn't want to have Hearn involved because they knew they would have to pay Hearn and they didn't want to have Dominic Ingle involved because Dominic Ingle is a top trainer or he's, been very, he's very experienced and he probably gets a certain cut and they didn't want to pay him what he said. And I did say this, I did mention this, that I don't buy the travel restrictions. I don't buy it. I did tell you guys in the video that I did a, a week or two ago that I don't buy these travel restrictions. I think it's nonsense. And Eddie Earn kind of spilled the bean. He goes, look at what, Dom, what they've done to Dominic Ingle. They've thrown him away as well. You know, they didn't want to pay him what he, what he wanted. That, to me, that's not a good look for Kel Brook. The fact that he didn't want to have his trainer in there because he didn't want to pay him them. Uh, like, if that's true, then... Obviously, he's just trying to save. He's trying to save a little bit of dough. But then I, I look at it from his position. It potentially is his last payday, right? Crawford's potentially most likely going to beat him. Let, let's be real. I know a lot of you guys have been, have been, um, you know, saying Brooks going to win. Brooks going to win. But this in itself should tell you that because I don't think Hearn's lying here. Personally, the reason why I say that because there's not one man. There's Dominic Ingle that's not there either. So. Everyone can't be wrong. They've just decided to do the thing themselves. Dominic Ingle was going to be in his corner initially because I remember him talking about the fight. And Dominic Ingle was like he was going to be Kell Brook's trainer. You could tell the way he was talking uh, when the fight was initially first talked about. Uh, Dominic Ingle seemed like he was Kell Brook's trainer and he was going to be there. I think after that, I just have a feeling that I think Kell Brook just probably wanted to get someone else that he could pay a little less. I, I think I can I, I think what Hearn's saying is true, to be honest. And I, I think um I think it's not a good look for Kell Brook and I do think if he loses this fight, his relationship with Hearn's finished. I, I, I why would you if you're Eddie Hearn if Kell Brook loses the only way is if Kell Brook wins. But Eddie Hearn knows that he's a massive underdog and there's a great chance he's gonna lose. Right? So if Kell Brook loses why is Eddie Hearn going to bust a gut for Kell Brook? Because Kell Brook's not going to be a massive star. Kell Brook's not going to be, you know, he's just going to turn his back on Brook. Uh, and Brook's going to be left 
in the wilderness. Uh, I I don't know whether Brook. I think from what we've seen, I don't know whether if Brook loses this fight, especially if he loses it well or gets outclassed. Um, I don't think we'll see Brook again personally. If I'm honest with you, um, I don't I don't I don't think we'll see him again. Um, Eddie and also mentioned the fact that Kel Brook said I saved the show with Golovkin, and Eddie Earn said you didn't save the show. Uh, we asked you if you want to take the fight and you decided to take the fight and you got paid a fortune for it, which I said this in one of my videos that, yeah, he should have never taken that fight. But at the end of the day, the decision was his. Eddie Hearn didn't put a gun to his head and said, take the fight. You took it yourself. You, why did you take the fight? Because it was making you a fortune. It was all about, see, boxing and, and sport, it's all about money, man. It's all about money. See, people don't care like, that fight ruined his career, really, if you look at it. That fight finished him. So, I know one of you, I, want, I can't remember who it was, one of you said to me that uh, Imran, oh, obviously, he was had an opportunity to become a millionaire overnight. Yeah, but that would have potentially have come if he had beat Vargas, become a unified champion. You don't know what opportunities open up for you. You know, sometimes being greedy in the short run is your downfall in the long run, right? And listen... Credit, look, look, he's going to get paid some good money to fight Crawford, right? Eddie Earns, right? Hope he gets paid some decent dough. And then, you know, if he can win, he'll have it off. There's a great chance he'll lose. And then he'll, you know, he'll, he'll have to make up a decision what he wants to do. But like I said, I do think that his relate. if he loses, his, I don't think he can go back with Hearn. Is Warren going to be interested in him? It depends on how he loses. You know, if he if he wins, then like I said, he's had it off. But if he loses and loses badly, then no one's going to... Then I, I don't know whether he's going to have the desire because he's not going to be able to fight at top level. No one's going to be fighting against him. There's only one fight that then would make sense. And that person's not going to be interested. You know, that person's not been interested for over almost a decade. Why is he going to be interested if he loses to Crawford? You know, so really that's... And, and, and most importantly, that fight would be dead. So is dead already, you know, uh, but with him losing again, then, you know, why would, why would anyone want to see that? So the fact of the matter is that, that, that Kell Brook's got to win. He's got his, he's basically, he's got his, uh, back to the wall. He's got to fight like a corner tiger. Otherwise, like I said, I think, he, I personally think, and it, it may sound harsh saying this, I don't think you will see him ever again. I think this is why I'm saying, enjoy the fight on November 14th. Because you, that might be the last time we ever see Kell Brook. If he doesn't, if he's not victorious, we may never see him again. Because just from what Eddie Hearn said, I think personally, I think it's true. I think Kell Brook, um, I think Kell Brook didn't have Eddie Hearn involved. Now we don't know whether Eddie Hearn was replying back to his text, so they just thought, let's go alone and do it ourselves, or or were Brook's team trying to save money? Uh, the fact that Dominic Ingle's not there. If Dominic Ingle was his trainer. And Eddie, then I can understand, but Dominic Ingle's not there as well. So all of this story is starting to add up. Do you see? And listen, I, like I said, I wish Kell Brook all the best in the fight against Crawford. It's a mam mammoth task. Um, but the most important thing is, I think the most important thing is, Eddie Hearn doesn't believe Kell Brook's going to beat Terence Crawford. He doesn't believe he's going to win the fight. That's the be-all and end-all. Because if he did, then... I'm pretty sure they would be backing him. Sky and Eddie, I don't think, believe he's winning that fight. And if he does win the fight, then you'll see Sky and Eddie looking to make up with him. But I don't think they I don't I don't think they I, I don't think they think he's gonna win. So And if he doesn't win, then really what's Kelbrook gonna do next? There isn't anywhere for him to go, really. Um but that's not that's not great news. The fact that you know about the money situation, the fact that Eddie Hearn said that they were trying to save money and they, they they've done Dominic Ingo over. And Eddie Hearn was fiery in that interview, and a lot was going to come. I think Eddie Hearn wanted to say a lot more about Kell's career and stuff. And I've heard rumors about Kell's career and why things have not thing, but I never really ever wanted to say it because I don't I don't know if they're true. You know, you you hear things, you you know, but you don't know if it's true. So I don't really want to speculate, but Eddie Hearn, I felt like he didn't want to see, he, there was a lot Eddie Hearn wanted to say, but he didn't say it. He didn't say it. So he kind of held back. And maybe one day we'll actually get to know the truth, why some of these big fights didn't happen, you know, 
what what went on you know around the time when he got stabbed and after what what you know why was he out inactive for so many years 14 months he was inactive after he fought i can't remember he fought somebody you know after he lost his spence he fought once or twice and then was inactive rabchenko and then didn't he go inactive for so long um and there was rumors that why he was I, like i said there's been a lot of rumors around kel brook's career um but it's it's just been a really weird career, if I'm honest with you. He's not really fought at world level that much. Uh, we still don't know in a decade year career. We don't even know how good he is. We don't even know if he would have beaten the likes of Garcia. And we don't know anything because he's not been in the ring. He's hardly been in the ring with anybody. He's hardly been like he's been in the ring with like Porter, Spence, Golovkin. That's it, really. That's three top fighters in what decade? Just I don't get it. It just doesn't add up to me. There's something seems like dodgy to me. That why why aren't these why how can you not be getting? I don't get it. I, I, I don't get it. You know, and I feel like Eddie wanted to say a lot more, but he kind of held back, um, just because obviously because he's had a long relationship with Kelbrook, he didn't want to go in and spill all the beans. You know, because there was probably stuff there that are confidential. But like I said, it, it will be interesting one day to actually find out what actually happened. Why was Kelbrook's career like this? Why was it? Why did it seem like he was so badly mismanaged? Was it himself? Was it himself? Were there reasons? What were the reasons? Like, we might never know. We might never find out. But um, it's sad, really, because we never really got to see some of the fights. You know, I know I know the British fans wanted to see Khan Brook. You know, that never happened. And then it's not even the fact that Khan Brook. Like, I feel like Amir Khan gets a lot of blame for Kel Brook's career. But... There wasn't just Amir Khan, you know. There was Danny Garcia. There was Keith Thurman. There was, there was, um, you know, Colazzo. There was bloody Alexander. There was um, Maidana. There was how many fighters were there? Peterson. There was Matisse. You know, there's not one fighter. Why didn't he fight someone else? Like remember when he was supposed to fight Chavez? That fell through. How many fights fell through with Kel Brook? Like Chavez, then he was meant to fight Brandon Rios. That fell through. I, I just don't get it. It's just not. I don't. His career has just not made sense to me. He's not made sense. I'm sorry. It's just not made sense. Like everything. Like he, he get, like the Chavez fight was going to be a good fight. It was going to be a test. Chavez, I believe, got a draw with Bradley. And then I thought, yes, that's going to be a good test. We're going to find out how good Brook is. And then that fight fell through. And then he ended up fighting somebody else that was a lower level. Like I don't. I don't. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get his career one bit. If I'm totally honest with you, but leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think. What did you make of Eddie Hearn's interview? Uh, what are your thoughts on it? And you know, I'll, I'll love to know your thoughts. Leave your comments in the comment section, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.